Hello, I am Dr. Lali Chimpi, consultant gastroenterologist, uh, practicing for the last 15 years in Pune at the Siddhar Clinics uh, and also attached to the Nanath Mangeshkar and Jahangir Hospitals. 28 July is traditionally celebrated as uh, Hepatitis Awareness Day or World Hepatitis Day the world over and the basic reason for this is to increase awareness for this disease called Hepatitis. So today let's come to know what exactly hepatitis is and what we need to do uh, to control this disease. Hepatitis essentially means inflammation of the liver. Out of the various causes for hepatitis, the more important ones that are preventable and treatable are chronic viral infections like hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Acute hepatitis is produced by other viruses like hepatitis A or hepatitis E and they are generally self-limited diseases uh, which need just supportive treatment and the patient generally recovers in about two to four weeks. However, if we see chronic hepatitis, uh, this is generally caused by two viruses that is hepatitis B and hepatitis C. It is important to be aware of these diseases because if uh, a person is infected and he continues to be untreated for many months or years, then this can lead to more serious liver consequences like uh, chronic liver disease, chronic hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, um, in some patients liver cancer and ultimately most of these patients succumb to their liver disease. However, there is excellent treatment which is available for uh, both of these diseases hepatitis B and C and uh, they are fairly affordable now. But it is important that in case you are detected to have any of these uh, two viruses, then you should see your gastroenterologist or liver specialist and start treatment immediately. Uh, treatment is to be continued for a few years or a few months time in uh, cases of hepatitis C, but most of the times uh, the disease is quite curable if we can pick it up at an early stage. However, if the disease goes on to a late stage like liver cirrhosis, then there is not much that we can offer to patients except for uh, maybe liver transplant which is also now available but uh, it entails uh, a lot of complicated therapy. So the best way to handle such diseases is to ensure that we are able to prevent these diseases. Uh, that is possible in case of hepatitis B by very effective vaccination. So I would suggest that uh, all of you get tested for hepatitis B and if you and your family members are negative for hepatitis B or HBSAG as it is called, then you should get vaccinated. Countries like uh, Taiwan have really controlled the disease very well in the last few decades just by uh, employing a very good vaccination program or a universal vaccination program for hepatitis B. Hepatitis C unfortunately doesn't have a vaccine today, but a very effective treatments are available for this disease also. Since there is no vaccine which is available for hepatitis C, Prevention is the main uh, goal that we should focus on. So it's important to avoid high risk behaviors, for example, uh, contact with multiple sexual partners or uh, using blades, uh, scissors or uh, any such uh, material without, uh, which is not disposable. So it's uh, important to ensure that uh, we use disposable blades, for example, when you are going to have a shave or a haircut, uh, young uh, people who uh, go for tattoos uh, should ensure that uh, the needles which are being used for tattooing uh, or for example for acupressure, acupuncture and these needles should be all disposable and that is something that you should insist uh, when, when it is being used. So I think the final message on uh, this World Hepatitis Day I would say is to increase awareness uh, because that is the most important thing and uh, once we are able to prevent this disease and uh, if it is ne needed to treat this disease very effectively uh, by getting in touch with your uh, liver specialist, I think it may be possible in the next few decades to get rid of uh, both of these uh, uh, viral infections and eradicate them completely. Thank you.